I got this oil field radiator. I don't know what kind of oil, cooking oil, engine oil, olive oil, I don't care. It's not working. It's all the functions and the switches, it's it's powered. It's doing it's I, I set it to be at eighty five. There's there's nothing. No heating action happening. It says it's sixty two. If I check it with my thermometer, let's see, take a reading. Yeah, that's the temperature of it and then that's close enough to sixty two. All right. So it's doing everything but heating up the oil inside. So I'm gonna have to take it apart and take a look and see what the heck is wrong with it. It's got a tip over sensor in it. It the heating elements in it may not be powered. I don't know. Power obviously goes through it to some degree somewhere, and that's all I can say about it. So, I'm gonna look inside. I'll keep you posted. So, on the top end of the radiator, with a little screwdriver, you can pick out this black plastic. There, it's got side tabs, like so. And then you can see two screws that you can remove there. Like, like so, two screws. And you have two more screws on the underside there that need just a slotted screwdriver that would be the idea yeah so that's my next stage take out the front panel so inside we've got a tip over sensor here which must be checked out to make sure that the switch it, this sensor is actually a switch a gravity fed switch so to speak so that I have to make sure there is continuity in its vertical position just just checking for continuity with a beep and uh, there seems to be the heater elements are plugged in here and seems to be alright there's a bit of charred wire here where I have or a charred socket there where I have this well, it's not exactly a thermostat it's more like a auto resetting temperature switch it's got a if it it's got a plate of steel in it that when it the uh, oil in the radiator heats up that flat plate of steel bulges out of flat and breaks the circuit and when it cools down it snaps back into position and then it closes the circuit so it's that kind of auto resetting switch very straightforward that little bit of charred plastic is is a concern but it's not a major issue because the metal inside the metal connectors are making good contact but oh, oh that's that's not good well I have to make sure yeah that might be a problem I have to make sure that there is continuity here in the first place so I'm gonna I'm gonna start there just as soon as I set myself to that so here is the this little uh, thermal setting switch and uh, yeah it's a little dodgy you can see that there shouldn't be sorry this part shouldn't be wobbly like this, it should be solid, so it's got continuity in some positions, but uh -oh, just come back here. But some in some other positions. Yeah, it's it seems to work now. Yeah, now it doesn't. You can see that I got good contact in it. And yeah, I just something's broken inside. It's not a hundred percent reliable. Hmm, suspicious. So anyhow, well, that's gonna cost me like two bucks, something like that. So that's that's one item. 
another easy to check item is this switch here it's got two wires coming in one white there and the other one is red color is not relevant it's a switch so uh, in this position with the you can see that contact surface they're opening up with the movement of this cam lobe so as is it should beep but it's good and as I move the cam lobe it should stop beeping so that's vertical that's okay and that's out of vertical vertical out of vertical yeah that's good okay that switch works so what I'm gonna do next is I don't know I'm gonna bypass this uh, temperature safety device thingy and just connect these two wires straight on with a piece of nail see if I hear bubbling sounds of oil being filled up and and the heater elements here being powered and in our case this uh, this little temperature uh, sensor thing is the temperature switch is the 40 unit so I'm gonna set that one up and check it out yes you can hear it you can hear it crackling there the oil is being heated up so I bypassed the temperature switch by connecting the two pieces of wire that feed into the switch with that little piece of nail not my nail that metal nail that's there sticking out between them and uh, yeah this wire is heating up yeah there is definitely it's interesting this wire is just warm all right so there's obviously uh, the oil is being heated up so this works it's fixed so the problem is with that little switch replace that at uh, your local uh, electronic supply kit so uh, electronic supply store and uh, you're good to go I'm gonna scrape off the, the uh, muck from it and uh, because these have a some kind of a designation at what temperature they pop so I need to see those numbers I'll show you in a sec once I clean this one up while the oil is cracking in the radiator this is what the little thermo switch has on it KSD 301 16 slash 125 wavy line 120 I don't know what any of these really mean other than that wavy line looks like the symbol for alternating current somewhat looks like the symbol for alternating current so there so other than that I'm kinda lost with this but I'm sure I can find something that switches at a reasonable say how about 85 degree Fahrenheit you know way below uh, flam you know the point of uh, the oils being in flames and you know some safe temperature I'm sure something will work I'll keep you posted so I got my contact thermometer hooked up you're not looking at volts that's Celsius degrees 120 it, it's keeping it around that and in Fahrenheit it's that apparently cooking oils or whatever the heck the oil is in it it doesn't uh, it doesn't just burst into flame at those temperatures so when I am looking for my replacement uh, temperature switch I'm gonna have to look at something that switches off or powers down say 270 Fahrenheit seems to be reasonable you know just in case something overheats in it something of that sort 270 Fahrenheit or that's uh, I don't know 130 140 degrees Celsius something like that and I've got my take a look at it I'm just holding a contact point of a, a thermometer there 
where it's closest to the heating elements there that are plugged into the oil running running inside the radiator that way so down there is where it's the hottest and uh, I know that the, uh, the temperature on the uh, cover plate is not gonna correspond to it because I set it to uh, what's that what's that number 70 yeah it's maybe seven oops it's maybe 70 degrees of air or I don't know what the design idea is with that number there but it's not really the temperature of the oil for sure so it's working it's functional it just needs that little switch replaced super simple oh and I found this radiator in the dumpster seriously in the dumpster because it wasn't working it still has the rust spots on it and everything I don't want to bore you with the details but I got myself a free radiator all right I got myself one drop of oil out there out of this free radiator so it's been taken care of but mm -hmm. if there's any more leaks you know seals can be tightened whatever it's not a big deal it's got two points of filling in or taking oil out uh, that one there with the electrical connectors I don't want to touch it but it looks just like just like that so otherwise it's sealed all around there's nothing else <laughs>